Todd, are there any creatures alive today that we would look at and say that's a mosaic? Sure. Duckbill platypus, right? Oh, yeah. So duckbill platypus got that beak like a bird. Mm -hmm. It's got fur like a mammal. Makes venom like a snake. Oh. It's got all these weird traits all sort of jumbled together into a single critter, which makes it a mosaic, much like Archaeopteryx here is a mosaic. So yeah, they're alive now. So people might look at the duck-billed platypus today and say that's a transitional form. Sort of. The way they would phrase it is a stem mammal. Okay. And the stem mammal would mean on the, on the stem that leads to mammals, this is a side branch. Mm -hmm. So they wouldn't necessarily say it's, a, it's the actual transition. There's other things they would use for that. But it's definitely sort of representative of the base of the mammal tree. But, you know, from a creationist perspective, it is its own unique created kind. Mm -hmm. And I can show that again with our analyses. So for me, it's, it's better understood as a mosaic. And the better question is, why does it have traits from multiple created kinds? Since it's not really a stem mammal and it's not really a transitional mm -hmm. form. And so that question is, how, how does it have all of those traits? And the answer is, I don't know. <laughs> I wish and I did. that's good. Is it a research topic? Yeah, for it's one a of great our, research one topic our... for, for the next generation. So, I've been working on those for years, but I've not gotten a good answer. So we need, we need some students to come along and do that.